my YouTube channel. Oh, I see the camera seems to be a bit old. Let's see. Is that better? So, hi guys. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking. Okay, if you're new here, I am Cherono and I'm coming to you live from Africa. Oh, I'm right here in Kenya, guys. I'm here, over here, eating some Biazi Karai. And I want to talk to you about uh, <coughs> studying in the Philippines, okay? So come on in, guys. I know uh, I didn't even prepare you guys that I'll be doing this uh, video today. So maybe some of you will watch it uh, later on, a pre-recorded one, okay? So come in, guys, and uh, click, in, click the like button and share the video if you can, okay? Like I said, I'm coming to you live from Africa. And it's in the evenings around almost 6 p.m. right now and I'm actually eating Viazi Karai this is called Viazi Karai that's what I'm eating because it's an evening snack so come on in guys I know actually before I forget let me share the video to my to my so guys uh, hi, I hope you're doing well I hope your weekend is going on so well uh huh so give me just a moment to share the video like i say i'm eating the azikarai so guys today i want to talk to you about uh how i personally went to the philippines okay so please come on in and as you come in remember to like the video and uh comment let me know where you're watching the live stream from and uh yeah that's it so guys <sighs> me going to the philippines is a it's a really long story like i didn't actually expect that i would even go to the philippines initially i wanted to go to another place and uh i decided against it in the last minute so So I just want to talk to you about the process that I, that, that I took because like I said guys there's a lot of people who are asking me in the comment section Chirono how did you get to the Philippines how did you acquire a Philippines visa so today I want to talk to you about it I know it's not it's out of um, most people's um, like like there's a few people not actually so many people that want to see this kind of video so please bear with me because there's a, i have subscribers who really want to know how, how to get to the philippines and i decided you know i, I wanted to do a, a video about it but then i decided you know why not do a live stream so that in case there's anyone uh who needs further help and has questions they can ask me as i go on so that's simple and easier so guys if you see my camera shaking it's because our home is very windy there's a lot of trees going on so it's windy so that's why uh-huh so guys going to the philippines is not actually so so hard as uh people might think like you might think it's it's a hard process but let me tell you guys it's one of the simplest pro processes so, so if you really wish to go to the philippines uh i'm going to guide you on how to do it and actually guys i've had people reaching me out from zambia i've had people reaching me out from nigeria uganda and some and kenyan mostly and yeah so i don't know how to guide somebody that is from uganda somebody that is from uh zambia um somebody that is from nigeria okay i don't know how to guide them but i'll just okay i will give you a guide i will guide you according to the stories and the and the people i've had uh the friends that i've related with that are from nigeria okay so like from nigeria like the people from nigeria it's i don't know so for first i'm going to talk about the people from kenya like if you're coming from kenya and you want to go study in the philippines please uh open your ears wide because i'm going to be talking about this today i've promised a lot of people in my dms that i'll do a video about it and today i decided you know what let me do a live stream about it because you know it is really important for the people who wish to go study in the philippines or who wish to take their children to study in the philippines okay so number one question guys how did i acquire a visa okay so guys uh, as a kenyan i don't need a visa to go to 
to the Philippines, okay? I can get visa on entry, upon entry. So it's a 30-day 30, 30 visa that I get in, uh, in the entry, okay? So what I need to do is get a, a round ticket and go to the Philippines, okay? So that's so simple. It's easy, okay? You can even go. So you're going as a tourist, okay? First thing that you need to know, guys, there is nothing. And that, I've had a, peop, a lot of people being scammed uh, here on, online, like, oh, they're going to get student visa uh, here while on the, in their country. Guys, let me tell you, Philippines do not offer, they don't give a student visa, okay? When you are outside their, their country, okay? If you're outside Philippines, you will not get a student visa. What you will get is a tourist visa, okay? So what you need to do is come to the Philippines and convert your tourist visa to a student visa. So obviously I've seen, uh, I've had, I have an, a few Nigerian people that are saying like, oh, we are being scammed, you know, people, they are coming, people will even lie to them, like somebody in the Philippines will lie to them, like, oh, I'll pay your tuition fee, I will pay for your student visa, you know, and they come, they come in thinking that they are already student, not knowing what, what they have is a tourist visa. So when they go into the school, they realize they have to convert the visa. So guys, do not be scammed, do not be deceived. The stu you, you coming to the Philippines, you know, you, you cannot come on a student visa. That's a lie. That's a lie. You have to generate or get your student visa in the Philippines and the school has to help you around with that. Okay, so that being said, how do you get the 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 tourist visa so so like i said it's so simple for me as a kenyan and i think for ugandans also for the people from east africa i think entry is free okay i think entry is free to go you can go into the philippines and get 30 day visa okay and the good thing the good news about being in the philippines is guys you can extend your visa as much as you want okay if you can even stay there on a tourist visa for 10 good years and nobody's going to ask you anything okay all you need to do is go monthly and extend your visa so the thing is if you want to come to the philippines nobody's going to follow you around like oh you're not going you don't need the good thing about the philippines is you don't need to be walking around with your passport and stuff like that but let me tell you guys let me just tell you something uh, it is important to keep your to legal okay so you can even be illegal in the philippines nobody's going to come and arrest you okay huh that is another thing about the Philippines. So guys, a lot of people will end up, because of that, a lot of people will end up being illegal because they feel like, ah, if I skip one month, maybe next month I will uh, I will pay. Maybe next month I'll pay. And then the next month, you skip again. So, okay, yes, there's some penalties that you need to pay. So what I urge you is you can come to the Philippines and you can just extend your tourist visa as much as you want. As long as you're in the Philippines, you can walk into the any satellite immigration and extend your visa, okay? so. That being said, what do I need to get that student visa, okay? What we need now is the student visa. So guys, first of all, if you're coming from Kenya, I'm speaking to people who are, from, who are coming from Kenya, but I'm saying the thing, it applies for everybody, okay? Because it's a process that I did, and uh, I have, I'm tempted to think it applies for everybody. So guys, first things first, you have to authenticate your documents, okay? You have to take your documents to be authenticated by your government. Uh, by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and then the second thing you need to do is take it to the embassy okay so you what, what what do I mean by your documents I mean your your your, your school certificates okay your school certificates your living certificates do not forget the living certificate because it is very important and your police clearance okay you need a police clearance to go and uh, you have it authenticated at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs from there you take it to the embassy the Philippine embassy they will do something called red ribbon okay so that's it that's it that's all you need for those documents that that's, that is all the documents that you need and then the next thing is just get around tickets you know go to the Philippines and uh, walk into any school of your choice so before you go you can research on what schools you want to do you want to go and study in see which school best suits you okay so that's very important also you don't just go thinking like oh you know please do research decide on which school suits you decide on which uh because you know there's different schools there's expensive school and there is cheaper schools you know so decide on which one is you know is is friendly to you you have to choose a uh, 
that one the one that is suitable for you and your family okay so that's another thing so you choose a school you decide before you even go to the philippines on which school you want to go and which city you want to go and live in okay so like for example people who are going to cebu city cebu city is a very cheap city if you want to have a cheap um if you are if you are working on a minimum budget then the best place i would advise you to go is cebu city okay because it's cheap the housing is cheap food is cheap everything is cheap over there okay it's okay so that's one thing okay and if you want okay even in manila yes life is quite you can work everything you can find something that is within your budget but then the best you know so you can always do your research before you go to the philippines okay i've had people going to the philippines not without enough research and then they end up feeling like oh i wish i didn't come and stuff like that and guys let me warn you something else before you go to the philippines you must know that you're getting all the support from home you're not getting any like you cannot get a job as a student visa on a student visa okay you cannot work on a student visa so that's another thing that you need to consider or maybe i'll talk about it in another video as to why students cannot work in the philippines okay i don't know i've, I've actually have not had time to research about it but maybe i will soon research about it very soon <laughs> oh my god Ebu, stop fighting so actually guys before i go home let me give a few people shout out i see chacha b Hi Chacha, I hope you're doing well. So, uh her and then Nasto, it's Nasto. Hi, Joel Ocheno. Hi, ha ha. Who else? Who else? Rosalinda Alegura. Huh? Good evening. Hi, and then Edward, of course, <laughs> my very best person from Kisi. I hope you're doing well. I hope Kisi is treating you good. And uh, yeah, and then there's Sharon Gordon. Wow, I've seen you. I hope you're doing well. Uh -huh. Hey, Cosmat. <laughs> mm. And then there is Hami. Hi. Okay, so watching from the Philippines. Hi, Hami. Amy. Amy. Amy or Amy de la Cruz. And then Hamed. Hamed. Hi. And then. Who else? Okay, come back to the Philippines. <laughs> I'll come back soon. Guys, please remember to like the live stream. Please, as you come in, remember to like the live stream. I'm talking about how to go to the Philippines and how I acquired my student visa, okay? So like I said, it's an easy process. It's even a simple process that I don't even have to sit here and talk on a one hour video, okay? It's so easy and simple. Like, as simple as that, okay? Like, like I've already exhausted everything that I need to, that you need to know, okay? And I feel like it's um, so for the countries that uh, African countries that uh, you go and check if your country you can come uh, to the Philippines without a visa and then get a visa upon arrival. So you check. OK, so I've, there's a lot of countries that you can come without a visa and then and then get a visa. But there's, uh, there's those that you need a visa, OK, especially people from Nigeria, people from where you need a visa to come into the Philippines. OK, so. There is that. So before you come in, also you need to check if your country is eligible. If your country is eligible for a 30-day visa upon arrival, then it's the best. Okay, it's the best, and it's you know it's one of the best things that you can ever do. So you can always just uh, only to only all you need to work on is your documents because let me tell you, the school cannot accept you if your documents are authenticated. Okay, they have to be authenticated by your own government, which is the foreign minister of foreign affairs. And then you take it to the uh, embassy, Philippine embassy. Or even if you don't know what you need to do, you can always take your documents to the Philippine embassy. Or you go and seek guidance. You can go to the Philippine embassy that is near you. And uh, that is in your country, not near you. Because, of course, there's always one embassy. So you can always walk into that embassy and talk to them. Ask them what you need uh, that you intend to study in the Philippines. So what what's your what you need okay so but let me tell you guys do not be deceived the only thing that you're going to be getting is a is a tourist visa and then the school the school will help you convert this tourist visa okay so that's it guys that's it that's it i don't know 
if there's something I've not touched on, but that is basically it. The only thing you need to do is authenticate your documents. And if you, if you are leaving, if you're coming from a country that is eligible for 30 day um, tourist visa upon entry, then that is the best. You just get around tickets and go to the Philippines and then that's it. That's it. Okay. So I don't know. Uh, what else? What else to talk about? Because that's it. That is so simple as that. You don't need to stress yourself. You're like, I want to go to the Philippines. How do I go there? It's not a stressful place to go. Okay, it's so easy to go. And the good thing about Philippines is you can walk around the streets of Philippines and nobody's going to mind your business. Okay, people mind their business in the Philippines. Your head looks. Oh, thank you. <laughs> wow, it was done uh, for like three hours. The f the the quickest hair I've ever done. Like. Here in in the Philippines, it normally takes almost it's almost a whole day thing, okay. But this one took me a few day, a few hours. So thank you so much. I really, I really feel like oh my god, this hair looks top notch. I really, wow. I appreciate the person that did this on my hair. I know it's looking great. And then um, uh, I mean, I see a lot of foreigners here, and I tend to ignore them so they wouldn't feel discriminated or judged hugmed okay where do you see a lot of foreigners okay let me see this aha uh -huh. uh -huh. where do you see a lot of foreigners red rosal hi <laughs> it's like a self-conscious okay I you respect them, which is why I don't mind their business. <laughs> oh, so you come from the Philippines? Yeah, I feel like people in the Philippines don't mind. Uh, don't they, they? 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 mind their business. Like nobody's going to bother you while you're in the Philippines. Anyhow, so guys, that's it. That's it about going to the Philippines. And if you want to go to the Philippines, so I hope everybody that is going to my DM, uh, ask me how to go to the Philippines, ne seeking help on how to what they need to go to the philippines i hope this video is going to be really helpful to you i promise like i've had people reaching me out since november and i promised to do a video and i've not had time to do it and today i decided you know what let me just do it for you guys so that every time you want to go to the philippines or you feel the need to ask me a question you can do use this video as a reference okay because everything that I, it's simple let not let's not <laughs> okay do not be like um uh, be tempted to think like this is a very very um it's a very what complicated process it's a very easy process like very 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 easy but do not if if there was another option i would uh, advise that you take it okay because in the philippines most of the people coming to the philippines thinking they will be having a job or something like that and then they come in and they get discouraged that oh i cannot work as a student you know so it becomes hectic it becomes tricky you become stressed okay so come in with a mindset that you cannot get a job as a student, okay? That is one thing. So come in with a mindset that you're going to get all the support from your home. It's just like going to, your, to a university in, in your, maybe, in your country, okay? So uh, please come with that mindset. Okay, so guys, actually this was going to be as brief as this. Uh, <laughs> I'm about to end the live stream because, you know, my potatoes are getting so cold. <laughs> Mm. Jolene Rono, read my comments, please. Okay, what is your comment? Can you please type your comment again? Mm. Jolene Rono, what is your comment? Let me see your comments. I have not seen your comments. I'm sorry. I'm trying to crawl back and I can't see your comments. Okay. Let me try to see if I can if I can see your comments. Oh, the wind is trying to blow my my stand away. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, that's the wind is really strong here, especially in the mornings. It gets really strong. Oh my god. Okay. Now my, my stand is okay there. Aha. Uh -huh. Joining Rono, let me see your comment again. Aha, uh -huh. Andre King, I see you. 
you're one of my biggest supporters like wow i really appreciate you huh let me see if i can find your comments jolene rono mm -hmm. i can't see your comments please uh comment again uh what is your comment i can't see it so guys uh that's it about going to the philippines it's not a complicated process so i hope it is helpful to you i hope it was helpful for those people who really wish who are serious and really wish to study in the philippines and guys i don't want to sugar i don't want to do a lot of sugar coating okay i don't like to sugar coat things okay so when you're coming to the philippines please be prepared because you're getting all the support from home so prepare your parents as early as now okay some people will come to the philippines lie to their parents like oh I, I can easily find a job only for them to come and get their parents disappointed okay because you know most people uh, when they send their child abroad oh okay before i go that most people when they send their child abroad they think uh okay maybe they are going they're doing the initial support like the the the, the tickets and stuff like that and then that's it maybe after some time the child will be able to help them out that's thing those are things you can do maybe in europe in australia you know in the us but not in the philippines okay so please come prepared and i want to i don't want to lie to you like oh you come to the philippines you can easily find a job to support yourself no coming to the philippines come with a mindset that you are not going to get any support you're not going to get all the support from home and guys i've seen a lot of people girls child like okay lucky are those people there are people who have come here and they've made a real side hustle like the people who make braid hair in the philippines they really make good money okay so if you know how to braid hair that's a plus for you because you know you can find a lot of people who needs to do hair okay so that is a good side hustle apart from that maybe cook maybe cook you know i see a lot of people and the people who really do that do a lot of side hustle are people from cameroon and uh, people from nigeria <sighs> They do a lot of side assaults, okay? So, I don't know. There's somebody will be cooking in their home and people will be ordering food, deliveries and stuff like that. So, that's another side assault. So, you can do a side assault, like as an hustle, a legit one, like braiding hair, uh, cooking for some people. You know, some people are lazy to cook. So, you can always get an online thing that you can cook and then send, send your food via grab or something like that. So, that's another thing that you can do in the Philippines. So, if you know how to do those things, if you can do a side business then that's good for you you can always survive there but if you're thinking of getting a job no that's a no unless unless guys you're coming from a fr if you know how to speak sp french or spanish or these foreign languages apart from english okay then that's when you can stand a chance of getting a job but not on you cannot no that means you have to get the job first and then use the tour the work visa to acquire uh you know an enrollment okay because if you enroll fast and get a student visa oh my god look at the wind it's shaking the camera like crazy if you enroll fast and then get um a, a student visa then you might not be able you cannot you cannot be able to work okay but if you are on work visa you can be you can go to school so it's it's flexible like that so if you know any foreign language and you can speak it well you can write you can read then it's good for you, you can find a good job actually that can sustain you you can even pay your student you, you can pay your tuition fee you can pay your house rent okay so that's good okay so if you're coming from such, such a country then good and guys another thing this is out of my okay this is not none of my business but i would advise if you're going to the philippines you guys consider the courses that you're going to do okay don't go to the philippines and do business management don't go to the philippines and do criminology don't go to the philippines and do mm, what else this business courses you know this i don't know try to do a medical course okay it is going to be worth it for it's going to help you in when you finish school it's going to be worth it okay let your stay in the philippines and the money that your parents are paying be worth it okay don't just come to the philippines and do some nonsense course okay i'm not calling <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry for saying some nonsense course but then don't come to the philippines and do something like when you go back to your country because like i said it's not easy to get a, to acquire a job in the philippines so don't do a course that when you go back to your country you're going to be struggling okay so if you can easily do business management at home then i would suggest you take it okay if you can do uh tourism and hospitality management 
then do it at home okay don't go to the philippines and start doing those courses if you want to go to the philippines be sure that you're going to be doing uh, pharmacy nursing you know medicine do those kind of courses because you know what they're going to help you in the near future like for example maybe when you are done you can do like if you're doing nursing when you are done you can do NCLEX go into the US you can go to Canada you can go to Australia you know it's a pathway to go to go in places like I said guys for me the reason why we chose to do nursing in the Philippines me and my sister is because you know Philippines offers the best nursing care okay it is recognized worldwide okay so and that's why we decided to do nursing there because nurses from the Philippines are observed worldwide especially in the US you know most of the nurses in the US are from the Philippines okay and we were like okay so if you have an American dream then the best place to go is the Philippines go do nursing and do end class later on and then go to the Phil and go to the US okay so that's so easy so please come with, come with a mindset like you have to do a medical course that is just my advice it's not like I'm against anybody doing any sort of course maybe I'm not against anybody doing any kind of course that they wish to do I'm just advising okay it's best the best thing you can the best course you can do okay some people just like they're fresh out of school or high school and they don't know what to do okay so please and guys Another thing that most people have been asking me, and oh, thank God I remembered because I was forgetting. I told her I'd exhausted everything. Grades. Grades. Some people will be asking me, Sharono, I got a, a D plus in high school. Do I qualify to do a nursing in the Philippines? A degree. Okay, because we don't have a, we don't have a bachelor, like diplomas that we, we do have here in Kenya. In Kenya, we, if, you, if you didn't pass so well, you can start with a certificate. You can go do a diploma course. You can go do degree course, okay? So in the Philippines, if you're in college, you're doing a degree course, okay? And it doesn't matter the grades that you got. As long as you have a certificate, a certificate, like, a, like if you're in Kenya, okay, a Form 4 certificate, and the whatever whatever grades that you got do not be worried as long as you have a certificate okay you can take it to the philippines and go and and do a degree okay don't stress yourself some some people their they, their wish is to be a nurse but then their grades is not here in kenya for you to go to a kmtc you have to have like a, maybe a c plus or a b and it's also so connections upon another connection or go to a university which is very expensive so if you really wish to do study nursing and you feel like your grades are low do not worry about it just get the documents ready go to the embassy get the documents authenticated and go to the philippines go study your go and chase your dreams okay so do not do not be afraid like oh i might not be able to do it so those people were asking me please um uh, i hope your question is answered i'm waiting for okay i don't know if uh did you i um, uh -huh. somebody said i should read their comments i'm trying to look for their comments and i can't see I can't see your comments. Melvis, hi. Oh my god, the wind is so strong. Wind is so strong. So anyhow, guys, so that's it about uh, going to study in the Philippines. So yes, what you need, you don't need to be worried about your grades. You know, I've had people be like, are you sure? Are you sure I can, I can go into school? Yes, you can go into school. Get it from me. Okay, you can just go work walk into any school that uh, they offer nursing and they can enroll you with any grades that you have so do not be shocked about the grades do not be worried about your grades don't feel like oh i need to go and upgrade you know i have had this person okay there's a friend of mine who was uh who really wished to be a nurse but then she got the grade she got was uh a d minus or was it yeah i think it was a d minus or maybe i forgot like, but I think it was a D something and she told me uh, like she really wants to be a nurse but then because she didn't pass so well she has to go to K 
take a MTC and do a nursing aid nursing aid so that you will upgrade slowly so i told her so how much is it does it cost to to do a nursing aid in kmtc okay so anyway i tried to advise her on on instead of doing that then just go to the philippines and do the same nursing and just go directly to a nursing degree without wasting time and you don't need to be like oh and she was like uh if i do that will i come back to kenya and get a job i'm like da you have a degree so i don't know like i don't know but anyway guys i don't know how that works i don't know how that works but i know people who have gone to the philippines come back to kenya and are doing very well okay they got jobs in good places okay straight points tv hi hi i hope you're well so guys like i said do not be sh worried about the, the grades and do not be worried about getting a job here in kenya guys if you really are open be open-minded okay be open-minded do not think about uh tomorrow just think about getting your nursing degree and let me tell you you might get your nursing degree and find yourself going to to another country okay that will pay you more than you are paid here in kenya okay so but if your wish is to come and do and and practice in kenya then also people have so a friend of mine just came came in came back home when was it in was it in may and she's she already done a board licensing exam the most important thing is you need to pass the licensing exam so she's already licensed here in kenya so you don't be you don't need to be shocked you don't need to be worried about oh will i be will i get a job the most important thing is passing the licensing exam so if you get if you pass your board exam then why not why why can't you get a job okay so please do not think about oh maybe i'll not get a job because of my grades they look they don't look at your grades while you're applying for a job let's say a nursing course a nursing job okay also that i think i think so I, i'm not so sure but i think they will look at your at your at what how you i don't know they will look at your we say do but what, i don't think they will look at your grades what you got in high school they are looking at your nursing what whatever you got in the nursing school not in high school okay so that's it fancy brisha what school are you studying in the Philippines? Uh, I study in Our Lady of Fatima. It's I study I I am in Antipolo branch. Okay, there's a lot of uh, Fatimas, but then my my branch is uh, Antipolo. Okay, so anyhow, guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you did learn something, and I hope I exhausted everything. I hope I didn't forget anything. Let me see. I hope I didn't forget anything. So I just this I just wanted to dedicate this video for those people who are really on my DMs every day. So don't know, please. I wanna help. I want I need your help. I need your help. I need your help. Okay, so I hope this help is going to be to go a long way, okay? So it's like I said an easy process. And guys, do not think of abroad. And I always tell people like there are people who are really serious, like they really want a quick help. And then um yeah, so please just i hope this is going to help you okay so this that's it for this video you guys so hello sharona watching from london time is 15 26 pm and you look beautiful yay thank you <laughs> thank you that's cool okay mm, wait wait that's good school in nursing and med where very near oh really oh wow yeah it's a really good school you guys fatima is a good school and affordable okay so if you are looking to go into the philippines i'll suggest that you go to fatima if you if you if you wish because it's cheap they like the payment method that they offer you is also very you know very pocket friend like you you can you can do tuition fee on installments you can choose to do installments if you are if you're struggling with uh tuition fee payments you can choose to do there's a lot of plans okay there's plan a b and c. that's those kind of plans okay you can do you can study okay you don't need to be worried like oh you know they will they always give you like you can be paying like maybe every month you are paying like uh maybe maybe eight thousand pesos which is so like affordable for i would say very very flexible okay 
So, who is now the dean of nursing? It's Ma'am Colleen Florence. So, anyhow, guys, so I hope that was helpful. And uh, thank you so much for joining the live stream. And remember to like the video if you haven't already. And, guys, please subscribe if you also haven't already. <laughs> okay? Subscribe and turn on the notification bells so that you don't miss out on any of my videos, guys. So, and this is actually, I think this is going to be the last time we're going to be talking about because uh, my channel is not about uh educating people on how to go to the philippines so i i hope uh just for the sake of the new subscribers i think i've talked about how to go to the philippines before but then a lot of people are still coming in with questions 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 so i hope i've exhausted your questions and i hope you learn something from it and i hope it's going to help you as you process your way to the philippines okay so i wish you all the best and um uh, Happy New Year. Okay, so guys, uh, until next time, bye. I love you guys. <laughs>